we've done a, a lot in Arizona. And I will say with just some of the modest improvements that we've made, uh, it's been very helpful in economic development. This is something that not only helps the kids inside the schools, it's going to help the adults in your communities that need work, Taiwan Semi, uh, Intel, Lucid, Nikola, Electrica Mechanica. We're all attracted to the program that we put together. And step one, of course, was making sure that this was mandated in each one of our high schools. Step two is to make sure that, that it does have some funding. And step three is that you have standards of, across the board. So we've completed step one and, and step two. Uh, the investment's been $3 million to date. And it's not only been around the, the coding and the computer science part of it, it's been taking it to the more vulnerable parts of the state, like our tribal communities, where it's really had um, enthusiastic reception We've had some incredible successes in terms of high school teams winning national robotics championships and things that uh, I, I saw your effort in terms of how many auditoriums you got in, and I think that there's more that can be done in the state of Arizona from that perspective to, to sell this. But now the, the community really sees the, the job opportunity that's there. And in July of this year, uh, Tata Consultancy Services, it's a leading global IT services company, announced plans to invest $300 million into the state, and it's going to hire 220 employees. So that's going to that's going to develop 1,200 additional educators in Arizona and uh, provide opportunities for 70,000 of our students. So we do have some momentum. Uh, I think as tough as COVID-19 was on all of our states, what we had to do from a state investment perspective in both broadband, laptops, and hotspots did a lot to introduce people across the spectrum on the power of being connected and also skills with uh, IT. So we're excited about what the future holds.